Hey y'all, it's Friday evening. Just coming out to enjoy my garden and let you know about the fun weekend that is ahead. Tomorrow, my husband and I are doing something that we've been trying to get a chance to do for a year. Um, our local chapter for the UFIFAS um, Master Gardener um, does a program where they teach you how to build a rain barrel and it's not that expensive it's like $25 and you have to just sign up they only have so many um, spots available and so the last two times that they have offered this we have tried to sign up and they're always sold out well it came along this time and I was like we are not missing out as soon as I saw it I sent it to my husband and um, made sure we were both available and he booked the tickets and we're going so I don't know if I'll be able to film it because I just don't know, but I'll definitely film like after and tell you all about it and show you the rain barrel, but I'm excited to add that new feature to my garden. As you guys know, I'm out hand watering just about every day and it'll be nice to have another source of water, especially rain water because that's the best. So anyway, I'm excited and I'll let y'all know how it goes. Hey y'all, so it's Saturday morning and we just left the Wayne, the, the Wayne Barrel, the Rain Barrel place. And we've got our rain barrels in the back of our truck, so that's super exciting. Hey y'all, it's Saturday afternoon and uh, we got the rain barrels as you saw in the back of the truck. We stopped at this really cool, it's kind of like a, um, I don't even know what it is. It's a venue for weddings, but they also have like a sort of um, homesteading farm sort of thing. It's like a, anyway, a lot, lot of things. It's a lot of things, please. <laughs> but they had these huge uh, sunflower plants and there were butterflies all over them. So I asked one of the people in charge there what they were and they told me they were Mexican sunflowers. And I was like, well, those are not. The Mexican sunflowers that I know because um, they're totally different looking flowers and and everything but she let me take a few deadheads so I have hopefully seeds and um, I might plant some on the outside of the fence there that I keep saying one day is gonna be a meadow it, it might be a little sunflower garden soon I don't know we'll see so right now I'm thinking it's time to check out that chainsaw, that handheld chainsaw that was sent to me in PR. So let's go in and, and see what it is. I know, I know it has some assembly required, but um, you know, we'll give it a go. Okay, so here's the box it came in. The brand is, I'm guessing, Saker. Mini electric chainsaw, it's four inch portable cordless electric chainsaw and it also comes with a battery pack, it's rechargeable. And here are the assembly instructions, it's only three steps, just put the chain on and it basically attach the battery. So I'm going to get it out, hopefully the battery is charged but if not, I'll charge it and um, we'll use it later on, on something. I gotta go find a branch to cut. So here's the little oil. is the unit itself and you know what it it feels really look how adorable it is <laughs> who would ever call a chainsaw adorable I would um it feels really sturdy but yet lightweight at the same time but it doesn't feel um 
it doesn't feel like it's cheaply made. Let me get it out of the plastic. So it's got a wristband to keep it secure. It looks like this is probably the on off. It's cute. Okay, let me go put the, well, wait, does it, it looks like the chain might already be on it. Am I wrong? Maybe I don't have to put the chain on it. It looks like it's on there. Can you tell I haven't been around too many chainsaws? <laughs> okay, y'all, look at this. I slid the battery on. It just snaps on the bottom. And you push the button right there and it slides right off to charge. It's already charged. I literally, I scared myself because I pushed the button. And then you just pull this back and it comes on. Push the button, pull this back, comes on. Nice lightweight. I feel like I've got a good grip on it. And here, let me show you how the battery comes off. And it just slides on and snaps in. Right there's the little battery pack. All right, now I'm gonna go find something really small to saw. And I'll show you how it works. Okay, so I'm gonna saw off a little chunk. This is just a limb that's laying on the ground here that I keep all my pots maintained behind. But I'm going to do this one here because it's on the ground and it's very stable. And that way I can keep my camera and saw at the same time. They definitely recommend wearing glasses. I have my glasses on, so here goes. Ooh, that shot that right off. That was kind of fun. Wonder how I'll do with this bigger one. Oh, that was fun. Did y'all see that? Oh no, this might be bad. Oh look, here's one here. Let's do this one. It's a little bit thicker. That is fabulous. You can feel the power that it has. Yet I'm able to handle it with one arm, one hand, while I'm holding my camera with the other. So how cool is that? I like it. I like it very much. I'm going to link information about this below in the video. And you can go on to the link and find out more about this adorable little handheld chainsaw. I love it. Okay, I have to tell you all <laughs> something funny. Me and power tools um, are not good friends. I actually find them very uh, scary to use. So from now on, my husband will probably use the little mini chainsaw. Not because I don't like it and not because I don't find it effective because it is quite fabulous. But just because if he's around, he'll probably have fun using it. And I have just have anxiety using any type of power, to power tool except the blower, the leaf blower I'm down with. And you know, thinking back, like... I've always been that way. Um, when I was in elementary school, I grew up in Pittsburgh, and every Wednesday we went to this place, it was called OVT. And we got on a bus, like we literally got on a school bus, left our bus, drove to another school, and we had to take like different six week courses, and one of them was shop. <laughs> and we had to use power tools, like little elementary school kids. It, it was like a real workshop when we built things. Like I built a little scoop and those machines were so scary to me. I'm one of those people that would just want to make it work and close my eyes and turn away kind of people. But you know, I don't know where that came from. It's interesting to think and wonder why some people might have a fear of power tools.
Hmm. I also had to take a sewing class. I was horrible at it. My little, my little, um, what do you call those? Uh, pot holder things, you know? Heat, hot pad things. <laughs> we had to make one that had like the little squares on it and we had to sew. M my lines were like zigzag all over the place. I could not sew a straight line for anything. Okay, well, that was fun. And uh, back to gardening. Oh, and on another note, well, now I'm looking around the garden thinking of all the things that I can ask my husband to do with that handy little tool. And I'm definitely glad to have it added to our gardening arsenal. And I'm glad to have my husband who can saw things with it. And he'll probably find it enjoyable which will make him more motivated to want to do stuff. I love that. Not that he's not motivated to do stuff, because he does stuff for me all the time. It'll just make it a little more fun for him. Hey, y'all. Catherine from the Nectary was just here and picked up a bunch more pentas. So, woohoo! If you're looking for some heirloom red pentas, they're going to have them back in stock at the Nectary. Um, I'm inside the Butterfly Haven right now, and hanging up right over there is another moth that has eclosed in here. I'm loving these moths eclosing in my haven. This is a different one. The last one was a Tursa Sphinx moth. This is a mournful Sphinx moth, so let me go show you. Isn't it cute? It hasn't moved. It's just been up here drying. So a little bit later tonight, this evening, when it starts getting darker, I'll probably release it. Get this little cutie. And there's my little queen caterpillar hanging out on the stem of an Asclepius incarnata plant. You guys, Yesterday evening, I was out in my garden, and I found a bunch of giant swallowtail eggs on my wild limes and my garden. So I brought in the cuttings, and I'm keeping them inside the garden room. I'm keeping them in my garden room in an enclosure till they hatch and get bigger. And then maybe I'll move them out to the butterfly haven. I'm so excited to have these and so many of them too. So hopefully a few of these eggs will be viable. And I'll have some babies in no time. And I also found that queen caterpillar that I showed you earlier. I found that one last night in my garden too. So it was fun. It was a fun adventure. Every night just coming out and exploring. You just never know what you're going to find. And it's fabulous. And speaking of finding things, y'all. I think I just found a spice bush. A spice bush swallowtail egg. I'm going to go take a cutting of this. Take it in. Oh my gosh, how awesome would that be? Oh, is this another one? I think I found another one under this leaf. Look, y'all, I found some spice bush swallowtail eggs on my sassafras also. So I have cuttings of my sassafras tree and my actual spice bush. And I think there's about four eggs. So I'm going to put these in with my giant swallowtail eggs in the enclosure. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. These are the ones that turn orange and are absolutely adorable. Well, aren't they all? Aren't they all absolutely adorable?
Hey y'all, so um, I gave that little handheld chainsaw to my husband to try out because I have never used a chainsaw before. So how could I tell if it was a good product or not? All I could tell you was that it worked for me. Well, his comment, because he's using it right now, you might hear it in the background off and on, is, wow, that's very nice. He's sawing through, trimming more of the um, viburnum ligustrum bush. I think it's on that end, it's ligustrum. Anyway, he's trimming more of it. It's got some branches that are about this thick and it would require a handsaw or him getting the big one out and he's just like going at it, just chopping, chopping it down. He's like, wow, that's really quick. It's lightweight, he said. It's really fast, really easy to use. And he really likes it and actually he's quite thrilled that the company sent it to me <laughs> so he can use it so i wanted to share that all right i'll talk to y'all later